Continuing coverage now, Gulf Shores has pulled the plug on May's Hangout Fest. So what's next? News Valley's Brianna Hollis joins us now to tell us about rescheduling efforts and refunds. Well, according to the note Hangout put out on Facebook and Twitter, rescheduling isn't necessarily out of the question. As for refunds, ticket buyers will get their money back, and some rental companies are also helping out with lodging refunds. COVID-19 claims yet another major event. And we're hanging out at Hangout. No more Billie Eilish, Post Malone, or Red Hot Chili Peppers. Gulf Shore City officials voted to shut down Hangout Fest during a special meeting Tuesday morning. There's a clause in the contract that gives the city the capability to do so in the event of an emergency. But leading up to today, Hangout was a hopeful holdout. On March 13th, as the coronavirus crisis ramped up, organizers said the mid-May event was still moving forward as planned. On March 26th, Hangout Fest is still going on as planned. However, it currently falls just after the end of the CDC's recommended timeline for a stoppage of public gatherings. That trajectory, of course, ultimately ending Tuesday when the city voted to pull the plug. According to multiple statements released by Hangout, organizers had been, quote, planning for multiple scenarios and had several rental companies postponing payments until mid-April to make sure ticket holders didn't waste any money. When it comes to a reschedule, quote, we kindly ask for your patience as we explore all options for a rescheduled event. Given the rapidly changing landscape of the pandemic, we want to make sure we make the right call and need a little more time. Organizers say more details about the refund process will be released shortly. Covering Gulf Shores, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.